Today in the livestock market, we had a lot of action with cattle starting out lower. It spent most of the day there. There's very little cash trade and in the south, the cash actually traded lower just the little bit that we did see. It pressured a lot of the futures and we were expecting that there was going to be a real recovery imminent, you know, here at the end of the week because the expectation is some things are going to be looking better next week, but it didn't really happen. Uh, although it did, there was a little bit of a tell in the feeders because the feeders did end up coming back. So we have the feeders as mixed today. The futures did rebound off that initial fall. It's it sent it a little bit lower. This just tells us that there's some optimism on the horizon and for next week uh, already uh, everyone is looking for some uh, some real demand and you know grilling season is here and they're expecting that there's going to be a lot more uh, happening seasonally and that's going to give the market a back another boost. I know that we're at some high prices that we haven't seen in many months uh, but there just isn't anything to turn this market back yet. So even though every time we get a little bit of a pullback, uh, the market starts to rally back again. Also, what could be helping is the hogs. We had wild swings today in the hogs. Uncertainty is certainly pumping a lot of volatility into the futures. They were, uh, they're absolutely reaching for the stars. There's another new high today. Are we going to get over that $100 mark? It certainly looks like it. It's another new high again, and we have been overbought, and we're waiting for that trade deal uh, to come out of the White House. We get not even a peep uh, that there was going to be uh, actually any kind of uh, inking done or some, some resolution on the horizon. I know that they're working very hard on it. Uh, also, we can't ignore that the African swine fever issue is a major problem, and it just tells us that busy markets are ahead. So hang on to your head with hogs, uh, it's with the, the hog market, and, and notice that it is definitely going to take its toll on beef. Uh, so the live cattle and the feeders we're gonna, are going to be affected on these wild swings that the hogs have been taking. So we're going to watch that closely come next week.